which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Ah, nice. Holy stucko. You're alive. There are people who get really excited about a console's power. You know, like the technical specs, the processing power. That kind of stuff is really important to them. Frankly, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. I mean, I'm the kind of guy who chooses lady characters because they're more fun to look at. And I named them Sigourney Beaver. As seen on home video! Then I sat down to play Defiance, an ambitious shooter that tries to bring an MMO experience to consoles. Emphasis on tries. Defiance runs so poorly it makes the PlayStation 3 a luxury import as consoles go. Seemed like a 1984 Ford Tempo. I'm not that kind of guy, but even I thought, wait, the, uh, the PS3 could do a lot better than this. This will go a long way for Grant and his men. We got him! Nice work! Now let's get to the roof and signal the medics. I'll tell you what other kind of guy I am not. An MMO guy. I thought Defiance was just some terrible show on the Sci-Fi Channel. And I only knew that because of all the commercials they ran during SmackDown. Sci-Fi was, was mixing aliens with my Daniel Bryan. It was the worst! Speaking of the worst, I'm tapping out, guys. This frame rate? See, that's what defines Defiance more than anything else. More than its cool story about the future of Earth. More than its gameplay. More than Sigourney Beaver. It's the fact that Defiance is a veritable smorgasbord of glitches, bugs, and clunkity clunk. And there were times when all of a sudden the game just freaked out. Like I was pushing a million buttons at once. Menus are popping up, I'm crouching, all without pushing the buttons to do those things. And somehow it it happened, like, more than once. There is no hope! <laughs> of course, sometimes the game's technical tomfoolery works to your advantage. Like, hey, having trouble with a group of enemies? Just, just walk backwards. See, eventually, they'll, ju they'll just disappear. That way you can wait, you let your health regenerate, and then walk back forward again. And don't worry, it, your foes will be right where you left them. So obviously, you take those technical issues, you add the other technical issues, Defiance starts to fall apart a bit. Or a lot. And it's a bummer, because when things worked, I had fun with Defiance. The shooting mechanics are perfectly fine, and the game gives you plenty of stuff to do, tons of side quests, in addition to the main missions, as well as a healthy list of multiplayer options. Thing is, though, even when the game's clicking, Defiance is never all that great. Again, the missions and side quests are great in number, but not in design. Most are pretty paint by numbers in their approach. And you know, the leveling up's kind of weak, too. I mean, it's neither tangible in game or intuitive to use. Now, it's no surprise that Defiance is much better when playing with others, but even then, it's, it's hardly exceptional, thanks to a bit of generic design and a lot of technical issues. It's a game that feels a bit aimless, like it wants to be this ambitious console-based MMO, but it just doesn't have enough ideas to back up that ambition. Or enough polish, for that matter. And it's not a bad game, but Defiance has some shit to buff out. 